Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle calendar type four. So let's get started. In the previous sessions, I covered how to automate calendar type one, how to automate the calendar type two, and how to automate the calendar type three. Now in this session, I'm going to show you how to automate the calendar type four in Selenium Python. So let's get started. So here we have an example URL where we have this uh, type four of the calendar. So I'll copy this URL and open any browser, say Chrome browser. In the browser, I'll open this application URL. And on this application URL page, you will see one, you will see one field known as third date field. If you click inside the field, you will get this calendar. Okay, this is what is a type four calendar I'm talking about. So what, what is the difference between this calendar and the previous calendars I covered in the previous sessions? So coming to this calendar, if I have to select uh, some different month here, there is a drop down field provided, which is not there in the previous calendar types. You see, let's say I want to select November. You see, I can select the month from this drop down. Okay. Then if I want to uh, select the year, okay, again for year also there is a drop down field. I can select like this. Now I want to select the date. I can select 25, and that date is getting selected like this. So this uh, the type of the calendar is different. Where you know the month and year I want to select in this calendar can be selected from the drop down fields which are not there in the previous calendar types. So how to automate this? For that, I'll copy this application URL and go to this uh, PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser window. And in the get command, I'll paste the URL of the application page where this calendar type 4 is available. Once I go to this uh, page where the calendar type uh, 4 is available, let me click inside the third date field, inspect this third date, Inside, uh, click inside the third date field. Inspect that uh, third date field, and you'll get this ID of the field. Okay, sorry. To copy the ID of this field, that is third date field, and come back here and write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Give the ID of that uh, field, and simply say click. If you perform click operation on that particular field, what will happen? If I perform click operation on this third date field, the calendar is going to come. Now. The calendar is coming with the help of Ajax calls. Okay, the page don't have to be loaded for for getting this calendar. Once I click inside the third date field, uh, because of the internally made Ajax calls, right, the calendar is appearing. But the problem with this approach is that you know Selenium will not wait. Okay, if there is a delay in display of this particular calendar after I click on this third date field, right, because of the Ajax calls, the calendar may get delayed a bit, and Selenium won't wait for that. Okay, so in that case, the script may fail. So it's better that we wait for the calendar to be displayed on the page. Okay, after waiting for the calendar to be displayed on the page, I'll perform the operations on the calendar. So how to wait for the calendar to be displayed on the page? For that, I would write the code here. That is, I would write web driver. Wait, I would create an object for the web driver wait here and pass the driver, comma, maximum time, let's say, not more than 10 seconds is required. That's enough. So here I'll write wait is equal to object reference. Now I'll write the code, wait dot until expected condition start visibility of element located and here inside this i'll provide another circular brackets so inside this i'll provide so circular brackets okay and inside the circular brackets inside this circular brackets i'll provide the locator for this for locating this calendar let me right click on the calendar and inspect this This is HTML code getting highlighted. Let me do something. Click on this and let the calendar come. Now hover the mouse on this HTML code. Okay. You see the entire calendar is getting located. Let me inspect this calendar once. This HTML code is getting located, the table, but I want the entire calendar. I'll go up and see view section is locating the entire calendar. It has an ID. I'll copy this ID and write down here. I would like to wait for the calendar to be displayed on the page. That's the reason I am writing by dot ID here. Provide provide the ID locator of that calendar. After waiting for the calendar to be displayed on the page, what I want to do, I want to select, let's say November month from this drop down field. Inspect this drop down field. Inspect this drop down field. So this is the HTML code of this drop down field. Okay, and uh, a class locator is there for locating this drop down field. There is a class locator. I'll copy this class locator here and write down. Uh, in order to select this option from the month drop down field, I have to create an object for the selected class. 
okay and pass and to the select class i have to pass the uh, what i have to pass this particular drop down i have to pass that is a uh, march okay this march uh, this uh, this particular month drop down i have to pass uh, i'll take this class locator for that and here write down driver dot find element by dot class name and give the class locator for that so for locating that first drop down field okay i'll simply say drop down one otherwise month drop down month month drop down or month, drop down month whatever you want to give just give that copy this and provide that here for the mode on select and import this from selenium okay import this uh, select class from selenium like this after doing that i'll say select one is equal to okay for the first drop down right uh, for uh, select month i'll say select month okay select month is equal to like that i'll write and uh, using this select month object reference i'll call a method that is select by visible text inside this i'll provide the double quotes and i would like to select uh, based on the visible text in from this month drop down field that is nov is a visible text let me give that nov here that's it november month will get selected after that i would like to select uh, some other years let's say 2024 here I'll inspect this uh, drop down field and uh, it has this class locator copy this class locator and create driver dot find element by dot class class locator for locating that uh, year drop down field okay so here drop down here i'll write down drop down here is equal to and now here i'll say i'll create an object for select and i'll pass the drop down here element into this uh, select uh, class constructor and uh, I'll simply say select here here is equal to now using this object reference select here I'll call the method that is select by visible text double quotes provide provide what the year 2024 visible text 2024 give 2024 that's it November 2024 got selected this is how simple you say after November got selected after 2024 got selected now I would like to select 25 date inspect this date and uh, you know so let me find a proper locator so that you know on the top of this uh, yeah this one data handler i can take copy this i simply say control f double slash td at the rate data handler is equal to select day was a value and uh, after that every td has this anchor tag so, so i have to say slash a text is equal to nothing but 25 or something okay like this you see it's locating the day 25 in this calendar copy this xpath expression and simply write down the code here driver dot find element by dot xpath give the xpath expression of that particular required date and simply say dot click it will select november 2024 25 date okay i'll just give some time dot slip so that uh, we can see which date got selected in the speed now Finally, I'll set driver dot quit here. This is a way to automate this uh, calendar type four. It's very simple. Okay, for uh, selecting the month uh, on uh, in the drop down of the calendar, we have to use this selecting. Okay, that's it, guys. Nothing much. Uh, run this. Observe that the required date twenty five November twenty twenty four should get selected in the field. Let it click on the third date, and we should get the calendar. Still, the page is loading. Let's wait. You see here, loading is done. Selenium is by default waiting. You see, it was very fast. It has selected 25th November 2024. You see, everything is done so fast. The script is working fine. Okay. So, this is how, guys, we can handle the calendar type 4 in Selenium Python. So, that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.